Hi guys. I'm just waiting for people to join. <clears throat> hey guys. Um, so I'm sure the live looks a little bit different for you. Um, and it's why I'm excited about doing this, honestly, is because, um, well, first of all, I hope you're all safe and healthy right now and staying inside and taking care of yourselves and your family. Um, but, uh, basically Instagram is rolling out this new feature where you can kind of do like a live fundraiser, um, and I've never been more excited about doing a live ever. Um, and uh, so I wrote some things down because I didn't want to forget because I have a lot kind of on my mind that I want to, I want to talk about No Kid Hungry, which is the organization that I um, chose today. Um, hi, you guys. Hey. So... Um, during this pandemic, I think we are all kind of looking for ways to help those around us. Um, my anxiety has kind of been spiraling, as I'm sure a lot of yours um, is. And uh, kind of the one thing besides songwriting that I have found is really helping curb my anxiety is just being of service in... Oh my god, first donation! Yes! <laughs> Whoever you are, two donations. Wow, oh my God, I might cry. Okay, so um, yeah, so I was just saying that I, I feel like contributing in even small ways is what's helping curb my anxiety right now. So um, I just wanna talk about No Kid Hungry for a second. If you don't know about it, uh, it is an organization that aims to end childhood hunger. And right now um, is a very desperate time for so many and uh, what I love so much about No Kid Hungry is that Billy Shore, who's the founder of the organization, um, is kind of just this like overwhelmingly inclusive person. And that is kind of the mindset of the organization. Um, it engages all different kinds of people to um, get involved. Um, kids, teachers, chefs, community leaders, um, so I just wanted to kind of, if if you guys didn't know about it, I wanted to just raise awareness. Um, they are unbelievable. And I also know that donating right now is especially difficult. Um, so being of service looks different for everyone. Um, I'm going to link everything No Get Hungry related after this live. But um, they do volunteer work. It's just everything that they do is, is unbelievable. So I just um, was really excited about the fact that Instagram is doing... I feel like Instagram has kind of weirdly been my community during this pandemic, which sounds maybe kind of dark, but it's like when I haven't been able to see my friends and my extended family, um, it's like I kind of look to all of you guys as as just like it's it's inspiring to see what you're doing i find so much joy in talking to you i just like i'm grateful to instagram for extending this feature because it just feels like the next step of of staying connected to one another during this really bizarre scary unsettling time so um I kind of just feel like I said all of that very quickly, but I'm really excited about this. I can't believe 12 donations, that's huge. Every single dollar counts, and I think, I believe it starts at $5 donations and, and um, goes up from there, but I, uh, yeah. So how, now, now I'm just like, how are you guys? <laughs> um, Yeah, I see a couple comments, people saying that they'd like to donate but can't right now. Again, that's entirely understandable. I think um, what I was also excited about with this feature is just talking about the different ways that we can be helpful. And I think it looks different for everyone, but um, volunteering in any capacity is incredibly important right now, whether that's getting involved with your local food bank, 
or like schools in your area, just checking and seeing what people need because they're there's so much need right now um and uh no kid hungry is just i just love no kid hungry can you tell that i love no kid hungry so um also just to clarify because i feel like some people this is maybe uncommon but instagram is amazing so a hundred percent of the donations go directly to um the organization that you choose when you do one of these live fundraisers. So No Kid Hungry is so far getting $149.65 from you guys collectively, so thank you. Um, someone said, <laughs> sorry, I'm just reading these. Uh, someone said, can you play something? I'm doing, um. I'm going live on Thursday on ID Magazine's uh, Instagram, and I'm playing songs then, so. Um, have you been writing lately? Yeah, it's, I have been writing. Um, I am kind of in this weird headspace I, I well I'm sure I, the thing is is I feel like every single person is in a weird headspace right now but um my I'm used to kind of writing about um <laughs> not this kind of anxiety that I've been feeling lately um and it's a it's just kind of like a strange thing I, I feel like I I haven't been writing full songs as much as I as much as I normally do, it's kind of just, I've been going in chunks recently, which is kind of nice. It's just different. So I think we're all adjusting to this, to this time. Um, oh my God, I can't believe you're donating. I can't believe you're donating. I'm literally so excited. Um, gee, I'm shaking. Um, Someone said any EP release information. Um, would you ever go on Genius? Because it'd be so cool to hear you explain. I would love to. I'm obsessed with those videos. I've actually, I've been going back and watching um, a ton of those recently. There's like, my favorite, my favorite one is the compilation of like the best vocalists on genius it makes me feel useless that video hi emily someone said does anyone else not only feel anxiety but just extreme exhaustion i think it's very emotionally exhausting time very mentally exhausting time um i'm glad i was able to donate thank you thank you thank you um, who's your favorite character from The Office? Uh, Kevin. I once had a dream. I once had a dream about, uh, tasting Kevin's chili. It's true. Um. Someone said, where are you currently? I am at my home with my family um luckily we are all healthy right now and i just am unbelievably grateful for that what's your favorite lana song it's i've been in a serious lana phase again i honestly think that it's because so i'm sure some of you saw maybe not but um I updated my website and changed it to make it on Tumblr, which is like my 14 year old dream come true. But since I've been on Tumblr again, my Lana obsession is like spiked, which makes sense because when I was 14, I like only, I like lived and breathed Tumblr and Lana. Um, and so I have been listening to radio a lot, which might be like kind of predictable, but it's just the way it goes. Uh, sorry, I'm scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down, I'm scrolling down, scrolling down. Um, 
um, um, uh, <laughs> I wanted to donate, but it says donations are not available in your country. Okay, well, I'm sure that the feature will eventually extend um, to different countries. It might be a currency issue. I'm not entirely sure, but I can check into that for you guys. Um, someone said, I literally don't understand Tumblr. The reason I love it so much is because I think it's like just incredibly nostalgic for me, but I had, I had so many tumblers when I was in middle school and I'm pretty sure none of them were deleted. Like, I think they all exist still. And I would have like different tumblers for different moods that I was in. I like strictly remember, I remember starting every single one. There were like seven. So I love Tumblr, but I love it now. It's funny, like I was a little bit shocked. I'm also fully in pajamas. Um, I was a little bit shocked at how many of you are still using it. Like it made me so happy. <laughs> it made, literally made me feel like understood and seen. Um, but it's fun. It's also like the way that I'm using it is, is like, I, if you've seen it, actually I'm clarifying this because I've gotten questions about it. Cause some people think that the screenshots are videos that aren't playing, but they're just screenshots, but they're all from different, um, writing processes. And it's been, uh, kind of funny going back screenshotting things and like listening to old songs the next single is relatively soon did you watch breaking bad yes what am i watching now um i am re-watching gray's anatomy kind of but i'm watching unorthodox oh sarah sarah if you're in the mood to donate, you can. You just press the button. Guys, Sarah got a dog. Your hair has grown so much, I'm realizing now. I know! I, the number of hours I spend contemplating chopping it. I, I think is I think it's kind of loud out the window, but it's okay. What's your favorite part of making a song? Actually, Blake and I were just talking about this a minute ago, um, about wanting to, to talk about that and then post it because the, um, well, I don't even really need to talk about it now, but the, the EP obviously means everything to me and, um, I kind of want to go a bit in depth. Everyone's talking about hair. Are you guys cutting your hair? Have any of you done haircuts at home? I was talking in a, a I, there's like a group chat. Oh my God, it's so loud. One moment, one moment, one moment. Um, there's a, I have a group, a group chat on Instagram with a bunch of you and we were talking about cutting our hair on a Zoom. So if anyone's interested in doing a Zoom haircut party, let me know. Audrey said, what's your favorite side bangs memory? Okay, I'll tell the story. So in middle school, Audrey and I went to the same middle school and um, I don't remember anything other than fear, but basically we went in and she was like, I'll cut your side bangs. And we weren't even that close at this point, we were like, we sat on the bus together every day, but it wasn't like crazy deep. And for some reason, I was just like, do it. <laughs> and she like took a chunk and didn't angle, but she did do this. And I don't remember. She says, I think I put my hair in a ponytail after or something. Um, someone said, yes, drop the meeting link. Okay, I want to figure out, I do really want to figure out... Um, group zooms <laughs> yeah but we weren't like that close yet 
Like, we were close enough that I said do it, but I just trusted you. I always knew. I always knew. Um, someone said, can you help me name my plant? Guys, what should they name their plant? I'm trying to think. I'm looking around. I'm looking around for it. You could name it Tape. You put your hair in a ponytail and sat in the corner of your advisory. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Guys, 29 donations. 29. That is more than 28. Someone said, what should I paint? Cut your hair on live to double the donations. Okay. Guys, if I cut my hair on live, will you donate? <laughs> Look, uh, I'm actually ready. Someone said there's a kid in my art history class named Tape. I love that. Um, what's your favorite Taylor Swift song? What's your favorite Taylor Swift song? Can you even answer? What to and where are we donating? <clears throat> so you're donating, if you choose to, uh, to No Kid Hungry, which is an organization that aims to end childhood hunger. Um, and right now there's a serious need for No Kid Hungry. Um, so I believe I see it a little bit differently than you do. But at the bottom of the live, I think there's a donate button. Um, and if you aren't in a place to donate right now, I'm going to link all of the information to No Kid Hungry. Um, and on their website, they have a whole volunteer section. Um, so you can look into that if that's interesting to you. Someone said, yes, there's a donate button. Okay, great. Someone said, do you know Ariana Grande? No, I don't, but I don't know if I deleted the tweet or not, but um, I think, I mean, recently I tweeted saying that a secret about me is I've always wanted to be friends with her. And that's, that's real. I'm planning to paint your face on my, new ooh. Cut it to your shoulders. No. Uh, sorry, I'm just reading. Um, guys, I can't thank you enough for donating. This really is more than I th thought. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, 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 sorry. Working on college search in Barnard is one of my top picks. That makes me really happy. Did you see Jeremy was playing 21? I did. I love Jeremy. If you haven't listened to his album yet, then you're... Then seeks treatment. Just kidding. But you should listen to his, uh, to his album. How do you deal with writer's block? Um, well, right now I've been feeling it a lot, but, but kind of only, sorry, I'm, the fact that you say Gracie Nation is the cutest thing I've ever heard in my life. I want to join. Send me the link. Um, uh, so with writer's block, luckily for me, I, my whole life have kind of explored different lanes of writing. So I've talked about this, I feel like a thousand times but um I journal every day even if it's only a sentence it's just like to get something out so if I'm feeling like I'm having trouble writing a song um then I will journal for a long time and just kind of it often starts with me being like I'm so mad and then I get something something better than that but um there's no rush I honestly I feel like especially after finishing the EP, I am kind of in an interesting place right now in terms of just like looking at 
all of the music that isn't on it and thinking about everything I know I want to write about. Um, and also then thinking about like what I want to do between now and the next one, just like in terms of life experience and going out and doing new things to like feel new things. So, um, writer's block is weird, but don't force yourself. Otherwise it's just going to, it's just not going to feel real. All right. What kind of piano is your red one? It's a Wurlitzer. Um, best thing to do when bored. Donate to No Kid Hungry or volunteer with No Kid Hungry. That's the best thing. <clears throat> Favorite 1975 songs. Um, Somebody Else has been one of my favorite songs forever, like 1975 or otherwise. I love that song. I'm sorry, I'm just I'm behind. Uh, uh, are you excited for tour? I think this is a very interesting topic of conversation for everyone right now like I can't I mean I was most excited about actually like hanging out with you guys because it's weird it's like a weird thing when I feel like we've been doing this for a very long time and I have like a pretty consistent stream of communication with a lot of you and so I was like actually looking forward to meeting people that I feel like I know already um, and so it's obviously unsettling thinking about how long it might be until shows feel comfortable and safe for everyone again, but it's, you know, your safety is always the priority. So as soon as, as soon as it feels okay again, then like, I'm trying to be everywhere. I just want to have more friends <laughs> I just want all of you as my friends um sorry reading, reading, reading. you are zooming tomorrow night I would love to be there I hope I can be there will you please send me the meeting ID hi I'm on <laughs> Did you teach yourself to play piano and guitar? Um, I had some piano lessons when I was younger. Um, my first instrument was the drums. And then I went to piano. And then in um, in middle school, we had a music class. And I really hated it so much. And if you knew how to play guitar, you didn't have to be a part of the class. And so I went home and I like furiously taught myself how to play guitar but then I loved it so I stayed in the class but I did I taught myself guitar just with like chord charts online if you have a guitar and you don't know how to play it or if you've always wanted to learn maybe try that during quarantine but I remember I had my my music teacher growing up was um, his name's Michael Lord, and he was, I mean, definitely the best thing that could have possibly happened to me at the time, because it was like, the way that he taught was, it, I just kind of like sometimes couldn't take it, like he was, harsh sounds bad, but it wasn't, he was just like, very confident in mean just understanding that I could get something and I was kind of like a quitter as a kid and I was just like was like Neh. but he was the like if I didn't know him I definitely there's no way I would have like actually stuck with it he was he was the best <sighs> sorry I'm reading these do you answer dms I sent you yeah I try to as much as I can Guys, Lennon's album. I literally, ooh, I just got full body chills. Lennon, I also was um, 
this morning I was so angry because I sat down and I was trying to write something and I was like this is good melody and it actually turned out to be <laughs> yours so I was like shit but anyway Guys, 38 donations. Let's keep it coming. Are you planning to release and she will miss you? I uh, want to record it, actually. Because the, the only recording of that song... I wrote that when I was 17 and I recorded it just on my, like, computer microphone situation. Like, it could not have been a lower quality version of the song but um I I mean that song is still very important to me I haven't listened to it in since I was 17 and but but I would love to make the time for that soon maybe I'll try that this week um Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Guys, 38 donations. Let's talk about that. <laughs> Maddie, I miss you. Uh, the last song you posted was incredible. Thank you. I can't wait for you guys to hear that song. Um, guys, 39 donations. That's more than 38 donations. Keep it coming. Guys, I can't believe. Uh, I really can't believe. I really can't. Would you like to come to Argentina? I'd love to. I've never been. What's your favorite song from the ones that you released? Um... Oh, I think I miss you. I'm sorry. Is is my favorite. Um, writing that with Sarah was just like a therapy session, a hundred percent a therapy session, and also just like the best time. We were just like being idiots the whole time. But um, and then to have Blake produce it was like a dream. Obviously. And I love that song. And it kind of felt like the first um, song that when I, when we finished writing it, I just felt like I know what I want the project to be. And um, so that was just like a really weird feeling, but like the best feeling. I miss you, I'm sorry, it's every day. Well, it's honestly, I mean, I talked about this on my story for a second, but, like, I don't, I never, just, like, YouTube is a very interesting community, and I have never been a part of it in, like, a real way, except for, like, I watch Bon Appetit all the time, and, like, I watch, um, who do I watch? Like, I'll watch, I'll watch an Emma Chamberlain. I will. But I never, like, ever, ever thought I would, like, ever have a presence on it whatsoever. And I don't have a presence on it. But the comment section on the I Miss You, I'm Sorry video breaks my heart. Like, it is so special. I don't know how you're all, like, willing to be so vulnerable. But it it actually makes me want to write about your stories. Which, it's not my place to do that. But, like, I'm inspired by like so inspired by by you guys just like talking either about or like directly to the people that you love or the people that you miss or the people that you kind of like wished you had a different story associated with it's just like crazy and i it just like feels like the reason that i love putting music out right now six hundred dollars guys with 40 donations i could cry Um, 
I would die for Claire from the Bon Appetit Test Kitchen, same. Mm. Are you gonna release the song where the lyrics go? Oh, I love that song. I forgot about that song. Um, oh, my eyes are stinging. How do you schedule your day? I actually am curious as to how you guys are scheduling your days. But um, I'm trying to wake up early and... I feel my best when I like sweat a little bit. So I've been trying to work out slightly, which I never ever do, but I just like literally the shortest, most weak versions of working out. Um, and then I write a ton, <laughs> like in kind of any capacity. I'm just like writing all day and uh, making lunch for my brother sometimes. And all the things in between. Someone said they start school in 20 days. Good luck. Blake. Um, is there a crazy group chat that I can join? Well, we have a really, like, I just love, I don't know if I would call it that, but I love talking with all of you guys. I can see if, um, if anyone knows how to add a person to a group. I don't know if I, hi Danica. I just think about you all the time. <laughs> um... I think about this line, but, 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 sorry, wait. Shh, guys, 41 donations. Oh, someone just fully, Gracie, you said you were updating your playlist. You're right. I actually am. I just didn't officially yesterday, but I have, basically, I have like a, I have a playlist of songs that I'm going to swap out. I just need to like actually do that. Someone said, can you please be my friend? Yeah. Yes, please. Someone said I would donate, but I can't. That is so understandable. I mentioned this earlier, but I um, am gonna link everything all the information to know kid hungry after this live so you guys can um if if you don't want to donate if you can't donate right now there's just uh, an entire page to volunteering through no kid hungry so if you're interested in that i'll get all the information your way um I've replied beige by Yoklor on Twitter to your playlist all the time. I'll add it. That song, I feel like I've had it on the playlist before. Um, in New York last year, Audrey and I listened to that song all the time. We sang that all the time. There was a night where we probably spent like two hours sitting and just recording the same like first half of the song over and over and over. Um, I love that song. Oh, and then, and then... And then <laughs> we were listening to that song all year. And then when after the Harry Styles fan fiction movie came out, they weren't even playing it anywhere in New York City. And the nearest place they were playing it was in Fairfield, Connecticut. So we took the train to Fairfield from New York to see after. And when we got there, Beige was in the soundtrack. So that was fate. Someone said, how do you be vulnerable in front of so many people? Um, I have just, I think, I honestly think, well, I know this for a fact. Part of it is because I have been writing for so long that it is just like what comes naturally to me as my outlet, which I think is lucky, but it's also a weird thing to be vulnerable in that way. Um, and the other 
part is because there is like a real degree of separation between myself and the people that are receiving either the clips on my Instagram or songs on streaming services, whatever it is. Like I seriously am scared of playing in front of people still. Like I've never had, I've never done a show in my entire life. Like I did musicals in middle and high school and whatever, but I've never played a show before. Um, so it's easy for me to do this because I don't have to deal with, or I haven't had to deal with um, the in-person element. And I'm getting used to it. I think with rehearsals before the pandemic, like I, I was kind of building momentum in a way that felt really comfortable and exciting, but only really exciting because it was like, I felt some of the fear dissipate, but it's, it's back, baby. But it'll be fun. You guys just have to sing the words. Otherwise I'll probably throw up or something. Um, oh, you guys made a playlist? My parents always try to figure out who my songs are about, and it makes me scared to write. Wow, okay, well, that's a real thing. I don't know if you're even asking, but I feel like if I were you, something that I do sometimes is I'll write about, um, if I'm like reading and there's a really interesting dynamic between two characters, I'll like write a song about that. If I watch a movie and I'm inspired, I'll write a song about that. But it's nice to be able to say that you're writing about other people if you don't want to make it about yourself, even if it is about yourself or about your friends or whatever. It's like nice to put yourself in other people or at least say that you are, even if it's not true. I remember once there was this, I had a songwriting class in high school and, um, I played a song and I fully made up a story because it was about me and I didn't want people to know. So I was like, I had this friend one time. I didn't. What inspired I miss you? I'm sorry. My relationship. <laughs> Make more cooking stories. Do you like that though? I feel like people like, I feel like such an amateur and also kind of dumb when I post any of my food, but it's literally, I don't even think about it when it's happening. I'm just like, nah, look what I made. Do you write lyrics first or come up with the melody first? Um, <clears throat> uh, it comes.